If you know me, I'm generally the first person that goes to bed at every deer camp or adventure that we're on. I just, I've always been an early to bed, early riser kind of guy. But there are certain things in the dark that will keep me uh, awake and wanting to go do more of them. And that is hunting with your IR, hunting with thermals after dark. I mean, you can even get me to stay up till midnight doing some of those. And once again, if you know me, you know that is something that is not common. We normally think of hunting as a deal we do from 30 minutes before sunrise if we're a duck hunter or deer hunter. Uh, you know, when we get that first day break and start seeing until sunset. That's just kind of how the laws are written for about everything we hunt. But when the sun goes down and the pigs start moving, it opens up an entirely different opportunity for guys that want to do eradication, game management, and have a whole heck of a lot of fun. You know, when it comes to the thermal world and all the IR scopes and everything that's that's out there, um, I'm not a knowledgeable expert. I'm a guy that loves to go do it. But I've shot enough of them and I've been on enough hunts that the things that I've found to be challenging with, with a lot of the models is, is the setup process, going through the menus, understanding how to use it. Uh, it makes it a challenge. You know, one thing about Trigicon, when they come out with a product, they've done a tremendous amount of testing, they stand behind it, their engineers, their staff, they work on it a lot. And when you look at how easy these menus are to use, it makes, it makes this, <laughs> their newest models so fun to go play with. You know, the sighting in process, there's a lot of great videos on YouTube and on social media. You can find out a lot of, of great data in the instruction book. And that was one of the neatest things for us was how easy it was to sight this in. When I go back to some of the other models I've used in the past, it felt bulky, it was hard to sight in, lack of confidence was there. This was, was a fairly quick, easy process for us. The first thing that jumps out to me was the ease of use. You know, when I've gone on thermal hunts in the past and you're trying in the dark to work all the knobs, adjust all the menus, get the brightness right, and you just, you really struggle with that on a lot of them. And it kind of, it makes it a little bit more work than I want to do sometimes out there to make sure I'm confidently taking a shot. With this new Trigicon model, everything's at your fingertips. It's very easy to adjust. It's very easy to dial in what you're doing. And to sight it in, that's even easier, in my opinion, in comparison to some of the other models. So you, you just feel more confident, so to speak, when you're out in the field. No question about it, you know, in the nighttime, everything's clumsier. You're trying to carry your gear. You're trying to, you know, not run into bushes that you can't barely see. I, can, I run into bushes when it's daylight. You can imagine how bad it is during the, during the dark. And, and so when I'm, you're trying to get set up, you want something that's so easy, so simple and, and quick to use. You turn it on, you let it go through its setup, you flip up the front the lens cover, and you immediately have a great sight picture. Now you can adjust your magnification. Different models are gonna allow you to do uh, different things. You can adjust what, how you want your targets to look. You can adjust your reticle. It just makes the experience more enjoyable while you're out in the field. Now there's a lot of things you can do in the dark that are fun, but without a doubt, <laughs> this is gonna rank right up there at the top of the list. When you can get on, I don't know, something about thermal hunting and getting out with, with something like this to where you can see things at night you don't normally see. Everything's different. The way you move, the way you handle things. And then all of a sudden you're kind of scanning across there. I've got the new Trigicon right here that allows you, it's so easy to set up, but what I'm able to do is, I mean, I'm looking at jackrabbits out there in their ears and looking at quail running around. You're scanning across, there's a cow and all of a sudden, woof. Check that out. There's a bunch of pigs running. They're coming in. These are mostly all small pigs under probably 20, 25 pounds. But when you're watching them and you're kind of <laughs> zoned in on trying to get one, it, it, I mean, my heart pounds just as much doing this as if I'm shooting a giant whitetail. I want to hunt and I want to enjoy. I don't want to be trying to operate, you know, 9,000 different buttons out there. Mostly, I'm, I'm focused on my magnification more often than not. You know, one to eight is, is the model that I've got the choices uh, on the right hand side with just a very simple dial to adjust it. Uh, two to four really is, is, you know, where I'm probably shooting the most. It really gives you a crisp, clear picture in those situations. I mean, you can see the ears of a jackrabbit. You can see quail running around. It is just so clear and so awesome to look at that type of data 
when you're in the dark, when you're not supposed to be out there normally doing anything, and then when you see a pig, you know, whether he's laying down or he's out in the field rooting around eating and you're kind of glassing or, or even better yet, you're scanning a big field and here comes a group of 10 or 20 of them running by and crossing into the area. You can definitively tell what your target is, what you're looking at and, and what they're doing. It's different hunting at night. You know, there are guys that are absolute experts at it. There are guys that run nighttime hog hunting operations. There are guys that, you know, go predator hunting all night long. They're, they understand all the nuances. For the majority of us, you know, we go a few times a year if we're lucky and we understand that walking in the dark is difficult. We understand that, you know, clumsiness is gonna happen out there. Safety first, be real careful what you're doing. Always understand what's behind your backdrop. Really, I spend probably more time defining my target this when I do this than anything. But the joy of when you see a target, you see them running, you see them out there feeding and knowing that you're eradicating and getting rid of a pig, hey, it doesn't get much better. Learn more about the new Trijicon IR Hunter Thermal Rifle Scope along with the rest of their thermal lineup at trijicon.com.